This is wild. I feel like I'm witnessing the birth of a universe right now. Like, what the heck? Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another special movie reaction commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into something that has been on the Patreon polls for a very long time. And so all my Patreon people are probably, you know, like, you know, really foaming out the mouth <laughs> to this one. And I am excited about this. I am. I've, I've been told not to look up anything to just go in as blind as you possibly can. If you can go any blinder than that, then great. You know, I've been told that because apparently this is going to be a ride. Now, I'm gonna do my best to not, you know, prejudge or anything like that, but you know, the way that this was kind of, you know, gassed up as quite a journey, a one of a kind journey, is is pretty phenomenal so i'm really excited about that so yes guys i don't even think i said the title yet that's how blind i'm going in but it is the fountain now again the only thing i know about this is that hugh jackman's in it that's literally it that's all i know i have no idea why it's called the fountain does it have to do with like some form of school fountain <laughs> <laughs> like one of those like cafeteria fountains or something like that. I don't know. I'm looking at the cover of this. I don't even know what I'm even looking at. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, like this is going to be a new experience for me. So this is as blind as I could possibly be. Guys, like always, if you want to see everything that I have to say or react to about this film, or maybe your favorite part isn't in the YouTube edit, definitely check out the Patreon link below. It really does help out the channel and it really does like motivate me to just, you know, look at other films and just, you know, continue moving along with the channel and all that good stuff. As well as if you haven't already, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And um, if you guys just don't want to do any of that, just chill watch the video enjoy yourself get your snacks your your, your juice you know uh, for all my healthy people out there get some sweet green i don't know like i'm not i don't drink kale but i know some of y'all do you know I don't, I don't judge you know what i'm saying i mean i judge a little bit if you do that but it's okay we're not gonna get into that guys like I said, I'm just excited to kind of jump into this. But before we do, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love and support. We have been moving along with all of these movies and all of these TV shows. And it's just been really cool. I love the community here. And just reading the comments and chatting with you guys is just always dope. It really does bring a smile to my face. So I just want to say thank you all for real. So without further ado, I'm not going to you know waste any more time. Let's hop right into The Fountain. Again, I would like to reiterate, if you want to see and hear everything that I have to say, check out the Patreon for reals. It's cool over there. we got a dope community. Everybody's super dope, super chill. You know, shout out to them for picking out these movies. You guys have been, you know, digging. It's all of them. There he is. There's Hugh. Big boy Hugh. Hugh's a human. I'm, all right, I'm going to stop. But yeah, Hugh Jackman, everybody. I'm getting some Lord of the Rings vibes, <laughs> quite literally, <laughs> because of the ring. And it just, it just, it's giving me some Lord of the Ring vibe right here. Oh, man. We break through. All right. We wasted no time into getting into whatever it is that we're getting into. They're just kind of throwing us in here. <laughs> Damn, man. We are, we are in it. We are in it. I don't know what I am witnessing right here. It's like a combination of Lord of the Rings and Apocalypto. Not here, not now. I honestly thought he was about to start old boying it. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's that one scene from old boy where he just takes out like 20 people in a straight line. Wow. Okay. All right. We are, we are in this. This is, this is weird. I love it though. Like I'm so entranced by it. So apparently he's trying to get this uh, eternal fountain of youth or something like that. This is cool. What the heck? <laughs> What's going on? No! Oh my god, this dude transformed into Jeff Bezos. What the heck just happened? That was awesome. 
I don't know what I just experienced, but I'm all for it. <laughs> I know those, those these dudes are probably in the writer's room like... So basically what happens is this guy's in the universe and he's also in a crystal ball and he's also trying to find the eternal youth fountain. He's also fighting uh, Aztec warriors and Mayans. Uh, you with me so far? First, no, yeah, we all know, but they're waiting on me. What is going on? Wait, what is this dude like tapping into different uh, uh, timelines? Seamlessly? <laughs> my man is like, what is he cooking crack? Like, <laughs> my gosh, dude. What, what are you taking for you to be having these experiences? I don't even think crack does this to you, man. He's smoking that cosmic crack. Look at him. Lost his hair. Come on, Tommy. Please, Izzy. I'm sorry. I am. What is going on? <laughs> what? I'm getting like eternal sunshine of a spotless mind as well, too. Like what? What? What is this film? What is this? Antonio, you're still growing aggressively. Been watching two days. You mean you don't know? Go get him. Find him. I really love how this is being lit as well, too. Like everything is very dim. It seems like the light is very strategically placed, creating a lot of shadows and unique looks to this film. Like it's just, it's interesting. What was that? What was that? What was that? That one. Natal Tortuosa 82A46. I love the like the the astral projection this camera is almost making us feel, you know? Like the camera is like slightly off, but then it's set in places where it literally observes from like outside the realm of these individuals. It makes me feel like I'm like a ghost or something. Now give me light. Shoot. What is going on, bro? What? I am intrigued. I don't know what's happening. This begins there. Ends there. Are you done? This is really cool, guys. I love the camera shots here. Like, these camera shots are just... I think they're purposely shot that way to make it feel like you're, like, part of something bigger. I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, but that's how I'm describing it. That's... That's freaking beautiful. Wow. That's putting me in a trance. So, I've, for, you know, obviously, you know, these people are connected some way, shape, or form in, like, a timeless, like, timeline. That tree is obviously her, and obviously him is that, you know, Jeff Bezos-looking dude. How they are connected is what I'm assuming this film is going to be about, because what? <laughs> I, I can't now, I can't. <laughs> goes anyway goes freaking anyway all the areas usually studded by normal aging <laughs> oh boy it's usually something like this it's cool at first but then i don't know something something wacky is probably gonna happen i want the next subject prepped and ready for surgery yeah it definitely seems like his character is obsessed with uh 
I don't know, trying to trying to fix something. Like he's trying to fix or solve something. What it is, I'm not quite sure. How does it link to the fountain and all this other astral connections? I have no idea. And I kind of like that I'm in the unknown. Kind of similar to, you know, the universe and what this film is hinting. <laughs> That, oh god, that was a great frame, but damn, man, this this looks crazy, bro. I don't know what's going on, man, but that looked insane. That looks like it hurts, dog. You should probably stop that. She too will die. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I really love some of these shots, man. Some of these shots are really cool. But that was freaky as all hell, I will say that. Ah, that was cool. I'm liking how this is being shot, y'all. This is really cool, man. <laughs> that was a nice little mirror shot of the other time it did that. Just kind of hinting that everything's connected in some weird way. Death turns all to ash. I'm scared to figure out what the hell that weird creaking noise is or what the hell's happening, man. This is a haunting shot. I will make sure her servants are waiting for Oh, damn, dude. What on earth, man? That was gruesome. From tyranny. Spain desired this treasure above all things, but the Inquisitor feared it with equal measure. I gotta say, guys, Hugh Jackman, Robert Pattinson, and, uh, oh, God, I'm blanking out on his name, but Harry Potter, uh, they all pick really great and interesting creative films to be in. Like, that's really cool. <laughs> I, got, I gotta show some respect to them. And they all, weirdly enough, have roles that usually staple them. Like, obviously, it's Wolverine and Harry Potter and, you know, Edward. But they kind of branched out of that. I, I find that to be really fascinating. Built upon the navel of the earth, the birthplace of life. A special tree sprouts there. I want to ask you guys something. Do you guys believe in, you know, stuff like this? You know, do you guys believe in things like this being, you know, potentially locked away? That older civilization probably, you know, kept hidden. Out in the morning light. Damn, dude, some of these shots are freaking good, dude. What? This is really good. This is extremely well shot. Wow. The lighting is just, uh, like, uh, the, the word euphoria or euphoric comes into mind. I don't know if it makes sense, but I don't know why that comes into mind. Together we will live forever. It's a good book, man. <laughs> you got a good book on your hands. Pull out the car and meet you in the front. Bro, you are being extremely dismissive. Like, come on, man. Like, damn, man. Guys, I am being thrown into a whirlwind of just what the Fs, man. But the cool thing about this, because other movies, I think they unintentionally do it. And it's primarily due to sloppy you know, uh, uh, writing. I think this one is a perfect example of throwing your audience into a loop purposefully, you know, intentionally. I think it's a good example of that because I'm intrigued. I am not bored at all. I know I caught you. I held you. There are shots that are happening here that I can translate that happened into other scenes in this exact uh in this in this exact way they were just in different settings like when he kisses the tree and 
I don't know. Like, that's it's interesting. Something's happening here. Zach, please. Tommy. Please. Perhaps you should wait for me in my office. Mm. No wonder he's like so desperate into finding it. He's trying to help his wife. I mean, obviously, but I don't know, man. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> the last time I seen him this motivated, he was pulling magic tricks and killing, you know, his best friend and whatnot. And, well, killing himself over and over again. You can't fix everything. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. Your wife needs you. Why are you here? Why the fuck do you think I'm here? God. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got some. We got. Oh, man. It's it's very complicated. <laughs> very complicated. But, yeah. That's pretty fire. Pen and ink. That's pretty fire. For writing. This girl is dope. Yo, if someone got me that, oh my goodness, I'd be so happy. <laughs> That's really cool. You do. You will. Stop. Mm, and he said that at the beginning of the film, too. He said, I don't know how it ends. I want you to be with me. I am with you. Look. I'll always be with you. Mm. This is this is wild. Like it's crazy how they built up this connection with these two characters despite showing me, you know, the craziest things. <laughs> like I, I feel that connection. These scenes right here are absolutely gorgeous man like i i seriously am like blown away by this rhythm Sir, busy get the family out Sir. get them out please. yeah give me the pads you guys see what i'm talking about how they shoot this like it's just it's it's very interesting it reminds me a lot of uh the killing of a sacred deer how that camera was operating oh my god wow oh my goodness Oh, dang, that's, jeez, that's, that's terrible. Oh, God, no, no, no! Damn, yo, what? <laughs> Damn. I, I, that, that really sucks. He just found the damn cure, too. That's a shame. Damn, and that's where it ended. It ended with him basically dying. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so it's like how how are you gonna how are you going to continue writing or finishing her story then? <laughs> Damn man, he is a great actor. Jesus, it's like it's dangerously good how how well he is in enabling to capture emotions that are ridiculously hard to explain. Especially when you're wrapped up in this story, you know? Yeah. Hmm. And it's interesting how they almost look like the tree groves as well, too. Like the patterns of a tree. Shabbat. That is wild. My mind is kind of breaking watching that. That's that's kind of insane. I'm definitely getting some crazy um, cosmic horror, or not cosmic horror, but just cosmic things happening where like you see something, your mind just can't interpret it. So it's just like, what the heck? You kind of watch it in awe. There's a saying for that. I'm not sure what it is. Hmm. This is this is an experience, man. This is really an experience. I'm gonna have to look up some analysis videos after this. We will live forever. Hmm. It's almost as if death is able to kind of, you know, death is the only way to technically live forever. 
I think it was just he had to come to terms with that. Is he? Hey, uh, Dr. Crail. Antonio's on his way back. Donovan's open and You better not go to Donovan. Go to your wife. You better go to her. <laughs> go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank God, man. Oh, I'm so happy. Bro, this is wild. This is wild. Oh my goodness. No! Uh, so is he is he finally accepting his death here? Is that what's happening? Like what happens afterwards? Is is that what he's trying to grapple? Wow. Oh my goodness. Yo, what? Oh, dude, that was cool. <laughs> oh, wow. That was cool. Whoa. He's the first father. Oh my God. That was incredible. That that literally sent like shivers through my whole entire spectrum. <laughs> wow. Oh damn, that was that yo, that was great. That was definitely worth the payoff on that one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is I mean, it sucks that it's that color, but, you know, would y'all drink that? <laughs> would y'all drink that? <gasps> Bro, yo, this is crazy. This is insane. Like, this is absolutely wild. Oh, my goodness. Oh! 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 Sh oh! Ow! Oh, oh, God! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Wow! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Hey, man, at least you found your ring back. Jesus, dude. <laughs> this is wild. I feel like I'm witnessing the birth of a universe right now. Like, what the heck? Oh, my God. What? It's going on. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Golly, man. All right. And that is the end of the fountain. Damn, that was insane. All right, everybody. We just got done wrapping up the fountain. I can see why y'all wanted me to go in blind on this. <laughs> Yo, that ending, that whole third act was just. I don't even know how to even describe it. I think like a, a great way to describe it was kind of like my response to the lighthouse during that third act. Everything was just so cosmic at the end. And I, I, I be honest with you, I don't know everything that has happened, but what I am coming to terms with is, you know, this is a story about a man who had to accept death and then, you know, learn to live on after that you know like death isn't the ending to something or to someone's memory you know it can you know there, there are stories to be told after that and i think he finally was able to kind of in a way metaphorically finish that book 
or that finished that chapter after, you know, he uh, metaphorically died. And I think that's pretty beautiful. It's so pretty, pretty poetic in a way. And I think that's a great way, like the way they, they handled this, you know, I think is a great way to kind of go about it because death and life is just, it's so, like we, we do, like it's, it's the most common thing with humans yet it's still so abstract so i'm happy that they took an abstract way of telling this story um i think they did a lot of justice towards it and it definitely made for an entertaining ride that's for sure guys let me know what your thoughts are on this as well too i'm definitely going to look up some analysis and see what is uh, truly going on but i think i got the gist of it so you guys let me know below in the comment section like always guys stay healthy stay hydrated because we we're just getting started. Purple jacket pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches cause they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat.